doors on the right side will open. ご新地高津には停まりません降りの際は足元にご注意ください私は安津順調空港にください次の双子玉川で後から参ります各駅停車中央臨海行きにお乗り換えいただけますこの先、先沼と長津田でも各駅停車にお乗り換えいただけ
Happy Mother's Day. It's still maybe Mother's Day in some parts of the world. Thanks yesterday. Leo picked out flowers that I we, we bought for Kanai and I put a, a picture on Instagram so you could check out what it looks like. Such a beautiful arrangement they made for us. Thank you to Leo for making mommy happy. And you guys too. Wow, I'm already seeing digital signage. That's new. The stairway's not. I remember having to take these steps down, but I'm guessing that the station that we enter into is going to be completely different than what it used to be. Wow! So I can already see, I don't remember this Tokyo food store. No, the Dinatoshi line is owned by Tokyo, which is a, a company that I guess it owns a lot of Shibuya. All right, out we go. Wow, 398 yen for me to travel here. Whoa, this is not the same place that I was at before. <laughs> Look at the digital signage. Look at the monitors up there. This is the future. I do remember buying tickets here. The Takashimaya is across the street because I used to use that restroom instead of the one in my apartment because it was so small. Rise Shopping Center, that's right. Okay, on the other side of this, that's new. On the other side of this, there used to be a, a Tokyo supermarket. I'm guessing that might be gone. And, and to the left here is the shortcut to get to my old apartment, which I'm going to take you to uh, momentarily. I think that's still there. I remember. This is so different. It's so clean. So new. Look at this. Wow. It's not the first time that I've seen this, but I haven't been, I've only seen it two times. Last time was maybe eight years ago, seven years ago, I don't remember. I don't see that supermarket. I think they, they must have changed it because this building wasn't here <laughs> when I lived here. Because if it was, I never would have left. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wrap around that building there uh, and then just see if that took you. Supermarket is still there. There was a Yao Ya. I don't think that's here anymore. Yao Ya is a vegetable stand. Usually family run. Really good prices. It seems like all those old buildings that used to be here are gone to make way for the. Um, I hope they got a lot of money for the property they were on. I used to get all my vegetables from them. Yeah, they're not here. Hey, Michael Sasana's in the house. Welcome back. I've never heard of Futako Tamagawa Station. Yeah, Nikotama for short. If you want to be taken seriously here, you call it Nikotama because Futako means two, ni. So Futa, so we just say Nikotama. Just abbreviate it like Pokemon, Pocket Monsters, Pokemon. We say Nikotama. I, when I first moved here, I still called it Futako Tamagawa for a very long time. All right, the supermarket is gone. Now I have identified, used to be, I guess it would be right here at the end. Now it's a bus terminal and a shopping center. Interesting. Um, let me take you, since there's a map here, let me just show you, give you a little bit of orientation. Here, Chan, I'll turn on tracking. You might feel slightly tingle, a slight tingling feeling momentarily. <laughs> okay, I could feel it already. All right, so we, we, we came in here and we walked the entire length of the station and out this front gate, and then I took a right. So I'm gonna take this shortcut, which cuts through here and go see my old apartment, which is along the train line, if it's even still there. There used to be a Mr. Donuts on the corner, uh, and this is the Takashimaya, which is still here. There are some really stylish shops. I saw Koyuki, who was in the movie Last Samurai with Tom Cruise, was shopping here. I was like, whoa, Koyuki, and she just smiled. And I smiled and I, we had a moment, and then we, I left and didn't take a picture. <laughs> well, she lives, apparently, uh, on this line called the Oimachi line, is considered like the Hollywood of Tokyo. 
So it connects with Takota Magawa with Jiogaoka, and you will find a lot of amazing houses, lots of money there. Uh, and again, here's the Rakuten headquarters and, the, and really high quality residences. So let's get moving here. I'm gonna go back to where we came, and if, if I get some time, I wanna walk with you along the river just to show you the greenery, but looks like it's gonna rain here pretty soon. It's gonna be raining pretty soon, so I, I don't know if it's the right time, but if I go to this motorcycle school, I'm gonna be here quite a bit, so then you'll be able to get a look at the riverside in a, a better day. This isn't that day. All right, here we go. Oh, they're, I guess they put this store underground. It's open in, until 1 a.m. Interesting. Feels like the future with this music playing above me. All right, I'm gonna take a right here. And here come the stories. There used to be, well, you know, dancing is really a big part. Dancing is really a big part of Japanese culture. The young people like to do these really funky dances, but they do it in unison, like synchronized swimming in a way. And there would always be on the corner here, a gang, a, a bunch of teenagers or people in their 20s. And they were training and I asked them, what are they doing to be on TV? They wanted to be on shows that would highlight their dancing. That's what they're training for. So, gosh, the wind is pretty strong today. So it was in this corner here. It's changed a little bit. So let's see if I can knock it down a little bit by going in here. I didn't, it wasn't this windy when I left. Yeah, this is totally different. Wow. This is bizarre. Above us is uh, are the uh, train, the rails for the Denentoshi line. Look at the stylish restaurants. This is an outdoor cafe, but you can see they put plastic around it to keep them warm because it's a chilly day today, a little bit chilly. So my shortcut is gone. It's not a shortcut. They just demolished that and made it a bunch of businesses, which is probably a good idea. So good job, uh, city planning people. None of this was here. What? All right. I think my apartment is gone. I think my apartment is gone. My old apartment building is gone? No, shocking. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> I'm your follower since 2018. Oh, hey, welcome. Yes, yes, Hi. Yeah. Hi. I, would, I just saw your notification and I work in Oh, Prince wow. Announce. Are you working with... with Rakuten? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> I just saw it and I wanted to see you and I saw this and I followed you. <laughs> wow. Here, say hi to everybody. <laughs> How long have you been here in this in this neighborhood? I live in Atsuki. Okay. Ah, uh, but I live here. Ah, I used to live in Honatsuki here. Honatsuki, Honatsuki, yeah, yes. that area. That's a long commute. Yes, yes, that's true. But yeah, <laughs> there yeah. I, I like the place there, so I just live there. So I have been in Tokyo since 2018. Okay. I, I was born in Tokyo since then. Wow! Well, thank you so much. Yes. I used to live in an apartment that was right there, and it's gone. I'm shocked. I'm in shock right now. Uh, I was in Ojima. Oh, right. That's the Shinjuku line. Shinjuku line, yes. Yeah. So, it's like I moved to this place. That's crazy. I used to live in Honatsugi, and I moved to Shinozaki on the Shinjuku uh, line. Oh, <laughs> I, wish I did it the opposite way. Okay. Oh, well, it's really nice to meet you. I actually don't know if I have any You Found Me cards yet. Oh no! If I don't, I, I have to. I send like your videos too. If something is there, we both watch your videos. 
Oh wow, I'm so I can't believe I don't have any you found me cards. I that's really awful on my part. I I stopped doing that when the pandemic hit. Oh no. Well guess what? I'll be back because I'm thinking of going to the motorcycle school here. Uh okay. So I'll probably be hanging out here all the time. So Oh okay. I guess I will owe you a coffee or something. <laughs> and you can talk about my talk about this neighborhood. When did you start working here? Okay. Oh, right. I see. I would think so. So, where is a good place to eat lunch? this was here this is just like trees and houses what well, good. thanks for coming out to say hi i'll see you again bye bye that was awesome and what, that's not awesome that they don't have you found me cards all right i'm gonna walk down here because i think maybe that is my man my old apartment building i'm not sure it's confusing yeah ario i'm kind of sad that I, I thought that i had them in my uh um bag here but I didn't think anybody would find me yet. <laughs> I thought I had them. Oh no. All right, I, now I know for sure that I definitely need to carry stashes in several pockets and even in my wallet, I think. Gotta get the, the um, um, really strong, just the strong you found me cards, the Rough Riders, so they don't get messed up in my wallet. That might be my apartment. I just remember that it was along the tracks. Yeah, I've been doing YouTube for a very long time, so I'm really, um, it's, it's humbling. It's really nice to, to hear that what, what we do with the show has an impact on people um, who are coming here to live and, and, and be in Japan. This was the vibe of this area. Check it out down this alley. It was just a small, it, it was a small station, not, not a lot, really quiet. You see this? And I used to jump rope and hang out outside the station here. It just seems like it's, it's all completely changed. So I'm gonna walk down here for just a second. This was the vibe of Futako Tamayo before. Really small, narrow alleys, um, a lot quieter. And now we got so many shops. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And I don't remember any of these buildings here either. But I lived one minute from Futako Tamagawa Station, Nikotama Station. Yeah, Jeffrey writes in here, we will find you, Liam Neeson voice. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. If you have a lightsaber or a dagger. We will find you. It's pretty, pretty creepy. Another thing that I, I remember seeing from my apartment on days where I was trapped at home, it was, it was a small 1K apartment. And the rent was a thousand dollars, okay, at the time of the exchange rate. Because this the property here is ridiculously expensive. It was a one room, which meant that for the bed, and I had a bed, it had a Murphy bed. I don't know if any of you know what that is. It's a bed that goes into the wall. And I would pull the bed out when I went to bed, or I just wanted to a sofa because it was too small to have a sofa your bed was everything maybe that's it i don't i can't recall it's all dis i'm very disoriented frank right the murphy beds were classics i'm gonna take a left here again i don't really a lot of this looked brand new. I don't really recall much of this stuff here. It could be lost. Chan, I think I might be lost. 
All right, I'm gonna go back on the other side of the tracks. We're going under the Ben and Toshi line. James Bond movie, you only live twice, had one of those beds. I remember, but I think that was in Hong Kong, not in Tokyo. He was gunned down to show that he was dead and he had his funeral in, in Hong Kong Bay in one of the sunken old naval ships in the, in the harbor that's no longer there, I think. I'm not sure. Now somebody will let me know. All I know is that I'm gonna find that apartment. I, I don't think they could tear it down. Remember it was along the tracks or very close to the tracks. I could be mistaken. I tried to find my old house in Fujinomiya, which is a town right on the base of Mount Fuji. Last time I was there, I think there's a live stream looking for it and I couldn't find it because things had changed so much since I lived there, which was even before here. That was in the year 2000. You can see Porsches. Look at, there's like so many nice houses and cars. You gotta be quiet because I don't want somebody to, I don't know, throw 10,000 yen notes at me. Could get injured. There are lots of hills here, or at least there's a hill here. So I guess it's like Hollywood Hills. There's a lot of, a lot of money in this neighborhood. I've seen it. I've never been a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> One day, see the head goes up and up and up. All right, here's another track. So let, let's, I don't, I don't know. Let's go back and maybe I missed it. When I see it, I will know because there's a bicycle parking lot. I left my bicycle there. I wonder if it's still there. Uh, I left it there in 2004. It might still be there. Or, no, the other teacher who was with me, his name was Travis, because there's an English school here that I, had, I was forced to work at. He left his bike here. He broke up with his girlfriend, got so distraught and, and left. Forget his girlfriend's name was Judy. Remember that? She was really nice. But I think she had an affair. Scandalous. Everybody was talking about it at school. All the mothers of the kids that we taught. All right, this is where I came out. This is the station. So we'd go straight into here. So what I'm gonna do is, is uh, go this way and follow the tracks on the other side. I believe this will dump us back. All right, this looks familiar. All right, this looks familiar. These buildings on the right, these were here uh, 20 years ago. There's Takashimaya. Okay, it might've been my fault. It was good to see that side. There's the Denentoshi line cruising through. It looks like the, it really looks futuristic here. The the top of the Takashimaya department store, store in 2004, it was all brand new. It was so amazing. Now it looks, it does look a little aged, but at the time it was revolutionary. Asterisk mark, I'm not sure what's revolutionary back then. I can't remember, but they had like a garden on the roof. And now a lot of buildings have gardens on the roofs here. All right, good. It was my fault. I, I messed up. It's to the right here. right here I believe possibly because this is another track it's confusing look at the train tracks coming through which train goes what to where right Hawaiian sea rights and you sure John I don't know I thought I knew because they changed the whole structure of the building so what I'm gonna do is there's a um, Mr. Donuts, or there used to be that this is the main road. And I believe my mansion, or we call mansions like the apartment buildings. My apartment, oh, there it is. That's the brown one. Right in the center of your screen, I found it. That's it. That dump. Oh my gosh, it's still there. Let's see if the bike is there. Oh, the crows, I don't remember those crows neighborhood's changed. 
All right, the Mr. Donuts is gone, I believe. It was right on the corner and I used to consume way too many donuts and coffee there. Yeah, that's it, the brown one. What? Yeah, it's on the side of the tracks, just the wrong side. It's my fault. I can't believe it's still here. What a dump. They didn't even have a, a washing machine. You had to go to the top and there was a, a, a public washing machine for everybody. There's my balcony. It was in the back there. On the other side. Okay, now I'm starting to remember. My balcony was on the other side. Oh my gosh, this is weird. This is so weird. Yeah, this is my, I would park my bike here. Bicycle parking was behind the sign, I believe. Yeah. I don't see, now they got rid of the bike. I don't see the bike. Wow, I used to have the bike right there. My bike was right there. I feel like I'm trespassing. All right, let me see the balcony on the other side here. Yeah, this parking lot. I remember seeing it from the, I think it was 304 was my apartment number. Look how small the balcony is. And it, it was, it's a shared balcony with a partition. So only half that balcony was mine. Let's see what I said. You can see the air conditioner was outside. I did have air conditioning, but it was the one right on the end there. And you could go onto the balcony onto the top and, and that was really nice to drink some uh, beers with the other teacher who, who left. He's a nice guy. He's in Hawaii now, Travis, I think. Wow, what a dump. I wouldn't even call it a bachelor pad. It's too many letters, bachelor pad. So small. You take people in there, they're like, get me out of here. Why are you renting, living in a closet? It had a, a you won't believe it. The, um, <laughs> you won't believe it. So the, um, the bathroom and the toilet, the sink and the, the, everything was in one little space. So in order for me to you to sit down and use the toilet, I have to put my feet in the bathtub because you, I, I would have to be in some sort of weird, like position to to do it without putting my feet in the bathtub. It was just uncomfortable. I guess they didn't design it right. Maybe they did. What a dump. It's a thousand dollars a month too because of how close I am. Now you see you see where I used to live. Now I'm gonna take a right and you're gonna see why it was a thousand bucks a month to live there. Oh, this is craziness. Johnny writes in TMI. <laughs> Maybe. There's a Montbell here. What? I don't even remember what was here, except for probably some businesses that went out of business. We're gonna walk around the, the alleys of this Takashimaya across the street. There's a pedestrian bridge and that's what we're going to cross. We're going to go up to the second story here in a second. Wow. Raise your hand if you've ever been to Futako Tamagawa. This is uh, Tokyo's most upscale or one of the most upscale neighborhoods. Jiogaoka might be another one. This does not look like the same place. My bank is here. It was called uh, UFJ back then. Now it's Mufji. Wow, this street has not changed. These buildings on the right side are the same old places. Yeah, down these streets here, there's Chanel. There's all these, these really stylish shops. And it was in there, I saw Koyuki. And this was not that long after The Last Samurai. It's pretty cool. 
She's pretty tall too. I was I was so surprised. Very beautiful. Konnichiwa. Is that Derek? Thank you, Derek. Konnichiwa. On the other side of this building, where that green thing is, that's where I used to teach uh, at an English school. So it was, it was really cool to have an apartment that was within walking distance. I would go home and cook my own lunch to save money, which was great. Stayed in, in a lot better shape too. I'd say Taku Tamagawa, this neighborhood, probably if you have the money, one of the most livable places. There's uh, three or four supermarkets in this area. There's a department store with a park in it. There's loads of parks. There's a riverside where you can go running without traffic lights for so many kilometers. You know, you know who I used to um, talk to? He wasn't a friend or anything, but I would I would say hi to him. I, I consider that to be talking. He was the guy, the Italian guy, who was in all the in the Guinness Book of World Records for being on the cover of the most magazines. And uh, he was my neighbor. He lived in this. I would. He wasn't living in the dump I was living in, but um, he was always a nice guy. He'd ride his bicycle really fast while I was running and almost every day at the same time. He was, I guess, teaching the English. Uh, uh, well, actually, I think we could just cross here. He was teaching, I guess, on NHK, the Italian lessons, and then his career just exploded. Italian bicycle too. All right, let's go up here to the second floor, get a bird's eye view, and then I'll wrap around. Yeah, that's right. We're very close to Kanagawa. Now from here, I was gonna, discuss that next from here you'll get a better view but the next station is called Futako Shinchi and you can walk there across the bridge you don't have to take the train it's just it's a weird thing you you can walk from one station to the next this is the border of Tokyo this is the border of Tokyo and Kanagawa I think you can see it from this overpass here and there's a bridge that'll take you over to Kanagawa. So this is Tokyo's border. Down there is, is the station entrance uh, to Futako Tamagawa Station. This is so much nicer than it used to be. Wow. So on the left side, you can walk to Kanagawa. And the funny thing is that Tokyo has this law where you can't have barbecuing or open fires, which includes a barbecue. And everybody would walk across the river to a place uh, right next to Fatako Shinchi Station because you can have open fires in Kanagawa to barbecue. So this is a really nice place because you could barbecue here openly without having to get a permit or go to a designated area. Uh, you can't do that anymore. Uh, I, I believe they charge now because people left trash there. I think they charge you 500 yen to, per person uh, to keep it clean. See from this intersection, you, you can see it. it's not Hachiko, but it's a pretty busy intersection at Futako Tamagawa Station. Wow, it's surreal to be back here. I might. It's it's kind of a hike to get to the uh, uh, motorcycle school from here, but I might just take the lessons here because it's kind of nostalgic for me to come back and I can do some live streams in neighborhoods that I haven't featured yet. I have to do 21 hours of motorcycle training. That's kind of worth it. Looking back at the station here. Hope the signal's okay. I'm taking you up to the park. That was a pretty short escalator. I've been on the world's smallest escalator called Pucci Collator. I think it was four or five steps. It takes like three seconds. You also have the option to uh, take the steps, which takes roughly the same amount of time. 
Yes, I remember these white panels too. It's like it's this area hasn't really changed. I can't remember where the Mr. Donuts was, but I'm getting a feeling that it was right here. Now it's gone. Now up we go. Taku Tamagawa is on the Denintoshi line, which is the Hanzomon line. It's 10 minutes to get to Shibuya from here on the express train, 14 if you take the local train. And today, I took the express train. Wow! This building has not aged. It's aged okay. You can see the terrace up there. There's another garden. And then look across the street from there. Look at this. On top of the uh, second Takashimaya building, a really beautiful garden. I think they used to have beer gardens up here. I can't, I can't remember. You can look back at Shibuya straight this way down the 246. All right, let's go up one more. I guess there's a garden on the, this older building, which is weird for me to say because it's so new when I came here. I used to come here to use the toilet. I would bring, you bring a newspaper under your arm and you walk, walk to the toilet. You know everybody because everybody knew, knew me because I was here all the time. There is, there's a Starbucks here. I would study Japanese uh, here, but I would have flashcards and stuff, but I wouldn't actually study that much. I just go and talk with people. People would come and you can't do that so much now. Let's go through here, this time warp zone, going back to 2004. I used to talk with people because the conversation was the best way and it was pretty easy to make, uh, meet people to talk to. Wow. John really wants to tell us about his toilet usage. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's not about the toilet usage. It's the fact that I I, I had to do that because the toilet that I had was so bad because it was so small in, an, in a Japanese apartment. So I think it is relevant to share that information with you. And now that it's public record, I want Leo to know where I came from. An apartment with a toilet so small, I had to use the department store across the street. Don't you think it's relevant? I, I think it is. Oh, look at the restaurants! I don't remember ever eating there because I didn't have the kind of money that would allow me to back then. Wow. That's a really nice view from there. There's loads of cafes here. It's not the right day to be sitting. There's not a lot of people out here because of the chilly weather. Oh, and now you can see on the other side. Check it out here. That's the riverside. You can see the green area there it just wraps around the Tamagawa River. If you go the other direction, I believe you get to Haneda Airport, which is really close. You could take a, a, a taxi there from here. The backside of the Takashimaya department store here. Looking down at the intersection we were just at. Is anyone's quality low? It could be just that where I am right now and the signal's bad. All right, let's get out of here. Um, what's the best way to do that? Go out this building and wrap around the streets here. I can't remember which highway this is, but that, that is Kanagawa. That is uh, the next prefecture on the other side of that bridge. Could be just some looking through glass too. This is, this is super memory lane for me. A lot of you know, I've lived in, um, 
I've lived in like 16 or 17 different places in Japan over my life. And one place that I want to go to this year, if I can, is a, a, a town called Okazaki. That's my first town. You always remember the first city that you lived in when you moved to Japan. You've been here for more than, more than 10 years. Not everybody stays in the same place. For my life, I ended up being in 16, 17, 18 different places. I lost track. Wow, I can't believe we're on the, the roof of a department store. And there's no beer garden up here. So you can see, I had a pretty nice place to hang out. And it didn't matter so much that my apartment was the size of a closet because I had all this space just across the street. So it was an okay place to live, but still I wouldn't recommend rent living in a 1K. You feel like a potted plant. It's just too small for your roots. There's the other side. There was another department store which was really revolutionary at the time because it allowed dogs. And nowadays, a lot of places, there's special places for dog owners. But back then, Futaku Tamagawa was the dog owning capital of Tokyo. Everybody here had a dog because they were, it was dog friendly. Now there's so many other neighborhoods that just um, copied or learned from Futaku Tamagawa. Uh, Jason, the rent was about $1,000 with the exchange rate at the time. <laughs> Which is crazy, right? How expensive it was. All right, you know what? I'm going to go down here. Let's go back to the, the floor, uh, street level. The, it might not be, we might lose the signal. So just, just bear with me. I got to go down six flights of steps. There's nobody here. Economy has not been bad. Or has not, economy has not been good. Wait, why am I not on the ground floor yet? What? Oh, this way. Chan, do you know where I am? I'm sure there's a Mr. Donuts around here somewhere. All right, give me a second. We're going down to the street level. I believe the, the steps are here to go back down. I'm one flight up too high. This way. All right, let's go see if my school exists where I used to teach. I'm pretty sure they moved it. One of the things that I wanted to do 
I wanted to find to make an episode. Now my Japan anniversary, uh, it, I guess this is my 23rd or 24th year, 24th year going into. My Japan anniversary is July 11th, I believe. And I want, I was hoping that I'd be able to find some of my old students that I taught. They were one or two years old, some of them. They're like now college students and adults and they have kids, which is crazy, right? But I can't find them because this is the era before Facebook and YouTube and nobody really kept in touch. We're gonna go around the, the uh, Takashimaya building here. So I, I, I lost touch, lost contact with a lot of them. The only way we kept in touch was through letter writing. And I kept in touch with some students at the end, but back in 1998, I don't know, we don't. So I'm, I'm trying to get in touch with the English school. Um, a lot of people have changed, but there's a few old timers that remember me and maybe get find a way to get in touch with the managers who have the phone numbers who might give them a call. And I think it's a good story. I got pictures of one-year-old kids that I was I was teaching English to in 1999. What do they look like now? Do they even speak English? Do they remember anything that I taught them when they were one? I'm curious. I, I was a good teacher. My lessons were physical in the sense like every 30 seconds I had to change an activity because a one-year-old is an attention span of a six-month-old. All right, this is, these are the back streets where I saw Koyuki, a story that I will keep telling you about till the end of time. Let's see here. All right, we'll walk down here. There's some really nice bars and restaurants as well in the back alleys of Takatamagawa, which is where we are right now. I don't think one-year-olds would remember anything. That's not true. Who wrote that? The kids that I taught could speak English at the one year mark, more so than, than Leo actually. So in many ways I failed as a father to teach Leo uh, to speak. I had a one year old student who could, who could um, tell me the colors in English, could not have a conversation, but understood and could respond by touching things in the right English, which is pretty amazing for a one year old. Now five year olds, there's one girl, Natsuki. She was in um, uh, Okazaki. She was five or six. And in 1999, that's when the, new, the Star Wars came out, Phantom Menace, I believe it was called. And she used to give me all these figures from McDonald's, these Happy Meals and all these things from Star Wars. She'd, her, she'd never heard of Star Wars because she was like five or six. But I told her I was so excited about it. And she got excited about it and she, for, the longest time would give me all these action figures and cards and all this memorabilia. And I wonder what she's doing. She was five and okay, she was, I think more like six or seven in 1999. So that means she's like nearing 30. Holy smokes. Really, am I that old? No. I'm, at this, I'm still at the same maturity level as the students I used to teach. So I hope you're getting some of the vibe here. There's a lot of really nice restaurants, izakaya. It's just a wonderful, fantastic place to live if you can afford the rent. But to visit, I'm not sure if this is the best place to visit as a tourist. You might go through here. Again, like Rakuten has its offices here. There's an Armani shop. So there's a lot of money here. Oh, I, I've been to this izakaya before. I think it's looks newer. I've been to the izakaya that used to be at this spot. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Jason writes in here. Crazy to think about it, and I was just, and I was just born in 1999. What? I have viewers th that were born when I was in Japan. It's crazy. That's how long I've been here. All 
All right, this is the this is the building that I worked in right here on the left side. This one here, the tall one. I, w I believe we're on the top floor, and I'm pretty sure that that Amity English School is no longer here. It's there! What? I can't believe the school is still there. Sorry for the flashing light, everybody. I can't believe they still have the school here. They changed the colors and everything, but... I'm gonna have to... I'm not gonna do it on a live stream, but I'm gonna have to walk in there, to give them my business card, ask them if they can help me find some of the students from when I used to teach here so I can make an episode for July about the day I came back to Japan. This is the last school that I worked at in 2004 before I started uh, a video production business. This is crazy. Why? I can't believe it's there. I can't believe the school's still there. I thought they would move locations. This place is a dump too. <laughs> this place is a dump. But when you're... Uh, let me, just, when you put it in perspective here, I want you to think about this. It doesn't matter if you're in a dump, you are living in central Tokyo in the most stylish neighborhood, upscale neighborhood in the country, one of them. You don't care if you live in a dump, you just care. It's not an AV business, and do you mean like AV as an adult video or audio video? A difference, all right? AV when, when I was growing up had a different meaning. All right, now I gotta go, Chan, I gotta go to this Koyama uh, driving school. So we gotta sign off here. I had a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. I used to walk this turn. I believe there's a convenience store on the left. Get a bento and either uh, eat it at the school or I would walk home to my apartment and cook lunch, which was usually instant ramen because I was saving all my money to travel. There's a uh, sukiya over there. I don't think I ever ate there. But there's the pachinko parlor. They got a loft and a Uniqlo. Uniqlo wasn't even a business when I came to Japan. There was no Uniqlo. It's crazy. The loft was here. Wow. Talk about memory lane. This whole building top wasn't here. It was an old white building, I think. It was Potako Tamagawa, but this, there was a crosswalk across the uh, highway to get to Takashimaya department store. At least we, I found my apartment. I, fa I got to walk down up to the Sky Garden of Takashimaya and walk around the station a little bit in shock. This is really cool. All right, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna see if, if uh, I'm gonna get my motorcycle license here. There's a couple of motorcycle schools. There's one in Meguro I might stop at too. I gotta get moving on that because PPG and I want to ride around Hokkaido for the summer as part of a Kickstarter. I think it'd be fun. I've been doing uh, chari charitable Kickstarters where I didn't really make anything at all except for gas money, sort of. So this will be to the spider. Ah! I hope it was a leaf. If you see a, a wolf spider crawling on me, let me know. Yeah, I'm going to go to this uh, driving school now. So um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. By the way, I've been activated super thanks on, on this. I don't know exactly what it is. I guess it used to be called a, it used to be called applause. So after the live stream, for those of you who wanted to give a super chat, um, you could do that. And some of the other creators added this uh, super thanks, it's called. So <laughs> put that out there. It's on the main channel too. And the monkey video is coming, uh, it's done, but we found some pixelation issues because of the, the steam with the monkeys. So I had to re-upload the video. So if you're a Patreon supporter with early access, you got a chance to see it, but I had to take the video down, delete it, and we'll re-upload it uh, when I get back home. It's a beautiful video, slow motion with uh, the Blue Danube music in the background. I think UFO Bob really liked it. <laughs> he got the, got the uh, approval. The barbecue zone is this way. 
across the river. You see that walkway? It's not very it's not very wide. But I would I bought a barbecue with Travis, the other teacher. His name is Travis too, Travis. And we would walk down there and just we'd spend our weekend just barbecuing if he wasn't with his girlfriend uh, uh, Judy. T D S D R four biker tattoo. Um, you mean like one of those you, 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 cracker jack ones? And I would kill me. What, well, maybe, would she kill me if I got her face as a tattoo? That's the question. I have to ask that. <laughs> our, our down payment on the Kanai face tattoo. Thank you, TDSDR. Appreciate it very much. And Denifer here, trip down nostalgia lane for something for you to taste and drink from that era. I bet, I bet you maybe they still make the same. They, I'm sure Suki has the same menu as before, but I never really ate there. I will find something. Thank you for that. That's really nice. All right, guys, I'm on my way. I'll, I'll report back to you if I go to this motorcycle school. And then eventually, if I do pick here, I could take you around this area and show you some new neighborhoods that I haven't showed before because this is such a far away area from where I live now, which is like dead center. Like I told you. So, see everybody. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next live stream. Chan, here's a little to go towards the biker chaps. <laughs> what do you mean? For the driving school, seven to walk for you currently. Thank you. Biker chaps, do you mean the ones who are gonna tie me down and try to rip off my leather biker pants? I was looking at biker fashions, Chan, so maybe I'll put that towards some biker fashion. I have some pretty cool stuff. Peter said it's it's not as easy driving 200 kilometers on a bike than it is in a car. So get some of those pants with the with this cushions in them. He said TMI. Really? All right. Peace out, everybody. Before I get in more trouble. <laughs>